All right, y'all. I'll give it a <clears throat> few minutes for for some for some of y'all to trickle in. I'm trying to make sure I don't get beat, bit by mosquitoes too. How are y'all doing today? Hope y'all had a good day. Hey, Fredo. How are you doing, man? Saw your video about you tying jigs. Maybe wanna. I need I needed to tie some jigs anyway, so I figured I'd tie some on here. I know I said I was going to a while back, but forgot about it, so I figure might as well try and do it do it now. The mosquitoes are out. <clears throat> Just woke up from a nap. There you go. <laughs> I'm jealous. Got one already. I'll probably give it to like five minutes and get started. <clears throat> Haven't taken an afternoon nap in a little while. <laughs> Those are nice though. Uh, everyone needs one of those from time to time. Keep your energy up. Yeti Whisperer. Hey, hey, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Let's see. Yeah, I think that'll work. <clears throat> yeah, I'm trying not to get bit by mosquitoes, y'all. So, y'all, bear with me if I keep looking down and stuff like that. No, it's not that much wind today. Usually there's a little wind. I say that there's a little bit of wind right there. Wind will help keep those mosquitoes down. So come on in, y'all. <clears throat> y'all got any questions? Just comment them and, and I'll answer them the best I can. Hope y'all been getting some fishing in. My plan was to go try somewhere tomorrow, but all of a sudden they're calling for 50% chance of rain tomorrow. Thunderstorms and the problem with that is I don't mind a little bit of rain, but <clears throat> that them thunderstorms will throw out some outflows and you'll have winds from all different directions and they'll be they're usually stronger than what's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a nice wind day. So I took a vacation day, but I might have to abandon that and go try something else. We'll see. I'm just gonna kinda play it and see how uh how things look when I wake up. And just kinda go from there. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, about five minutes in, so we're gonna get started. So yeah, I figured we'd do some talking, um, crappie talk, and fishing talk in general. Yeti whisper, pan optics on the boat going this weekend. Nice. There you go. I want to get one of those. I'd love to have one for my little pontoon. It'd be make me so so much more efficient doing that than without it. <clears throat> Next level fishing entertainment, yo, yo, yo. Hey, how's it going? I want to thank everyone for tuning in today. Fishing with Fredo, I hope the family is doing good. Yeah, everyone's doing good. Thank you for checking. I hope the same for you and your family, Fredo, and everyone else that's on here. <clears throat> it's 
So yeah, we'll we'll see what what ends up happening tomorrow. I don't know. Cause you know how those forecasts go. They they're kind of uh they can be a little wishy washy. Next level, pretty good. How about you? What color are you gonna tie up for us, man? You know I'm gonna go. <clears throat> I, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm glad to hear you're doing good, by the way. Um, I'm going to tie up just some standard. These are the standard go-to. I mean, it's more of a confidence thing than anything, really. Um, these are just some jigs that I, I've always done good on. So, uh, I'll go ahead and get started. So, I got... I uh, actually... I get my jig heads from... Uh, let me see if I can show you all. I get my jig heads from Limits Tackle. Steve uh, Goncalves, I think is how you say his, his last name. Um, he, he got, he's got... Pretty much whatever kind of jig head you want, and however many he'll make them for you. And the prices are great. You can get them shipped. You can go pick them up at his house. I mean, you can't beat it really. Um, so I get those, and I actually paint them myself. I, uh, I'm not sure if this will focus. How good this will focus, but let's see, it's not gonna focus very good at all. Um, but I just paint them myself, a bunch of different colors. I paint them with. Um, uh, I had them somewhere. It's uh, the Pro Tech, I think it's it is. I got uh, they sell them on um, what's the name of it? Crazy Angler Tackle. I'm not sure if his what what brand his are, but he's got all different kinds of colors, and I get them from him. Um, you can get them at Bass Pro too. The Pro Tech powder, it's powder paint, powder coat. You just heat the jig head up and dip it in there, and then I I cure mine in, in a little oven I have. Um, and that helps them stick on there better. <clears throat> Fredo, man, I'm a hero at work. I have fried up some red speckled trout and catfish and crappie. There you go. Man, that sounds good. That sounds good, Fred. I wish I had I have some crappie in there. I just I uh last night I actually uh just made some like with butter and lemon pepper. They were good that way too though. Crappie are good pretty much any way you make them. I wanna do some crappie cakes. That's what I want to do. Let's see. Sorry, it's shaking so much. I was going to start painting them, but I couldn't decide to buy paint or that powder dip, though. That powder dip is what, what I do. The powder paint, the powder coat. I mean, to me, that, that gets the best, um, the best result. Just heat that jig head up and... Slap Buster, what's up, kid? <laughs> hey, what's up? Hope you're doing good. Thanks for joining. And as always, y'all, um, the uh, super chat icon is there. If y'all feel feel the need to to donate, I would appreciate it. But uh, uh, Fredo, wow, those are some nice bright colors. Yeah, I love. I mean, you can tell. I love bright colors. I love bright colors. This is the only non-bright color I got. Just white. These are the only four colors I have, actually. <clears throat> Nothing too, you know, you don't need a whole lot. <clears throat> but, <clears throat> sorry my phone gets a mind of its own sometimes. <laughs> that autocorrect is something else. So, yeah, just, I like bright, bright colors, so. I tie a gold body with a pink tail for my favorite pattern that I tie. That's a good combo. I don't have any gold. I I know a lot of people. Um, what's his name? Uh, Richard Jean, the fishing machine. He uses a lot of gold and does good too. I do have some brown. I like brown, pretty good too. So we'll get started. I've been rambling on. So I'm gonna actually. Let's see. See what all I've got to work with. So I'm gonna get some of these these blue hackle. Down this right here. I mean, I really don't have that many Chanel's. I mean, just some basic. A lot of them are pretty bright. Um, that's that's just what I what I like. I like bright bright colors. I feel like crappie are more attracted to bright than they are. Not bright. Let me see if I can get this closer. Uh, never done this before like this, so y'all bear with me. All right. 
So I just got just a little threader. This is some gray thread. I'm not even sure where I got it. But I don't match the colors a lot. Uh, next level fishing, yeah, he uses that hand tire for the old boy in Texas. Yeah, the Harry Pippinger, I think. Moonshine. Yeah, those are good jigs too. So I'm just gonna just thread this on there. I don't know if y'all, uh, you know, want to know how I tie them or just kind of just want to watch me tie. I mean, y'all, y'all let me know if y'all have any questions. I can, I can show you. But I'm just tying that that thread on there. I don't match the threads. It's just too much trouble to me. It doesn't make a difference. I don't think. Um, so, I'm gonna get, this is actually, I don't, I don't know how many y'all fish Joe pull, but I'm gonna put two, two feathers on there. I don't know how many of y'all fish Joe pull, but this is a, to this day, I think the biggest crappie I've ever caught on Joe pull came off of this color. Way back in the day, back at the, the Joe pull barge. That was... Talk about a blast from the past. Next level, that's Joe Cool one. Uh, Joe Pool, the the Lake Joe Pool. I'm not sure where you're at. Uh, next level. This is Lake in the DFW Joe Pool. I fish it pretty pretty regularly, um, somewhat regularly, I guess. Fredo, thanks, man. That's for the hooks in the paint. Man, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. You did twice, and I appreciate both times, man. I really do. So I just put <clears throat> two, uh, <clears throat> two flash, pieces of flash. You really don't need to, but... If I have it close by, I'll put some on there. Just like that. <clears throat> Saw a mosquito go by. I'm on the lookout. And Fredo, if, if you have any questions, I mean, by all means. Um, I, know, I know you started tied. I'm not sure how... Those jigs you tied look good too. I'm not sure how uh, how much you've tied in the past, but I've been tying for I mean since I've started. I mean I probably 10, 10, 15, 27, probably or 28, probably probably at least 12 or 13 years. Uh, let me see. I keep losing the comments. Oh my bad. I thought you were saying something else. I'm just up north, the Red River, about 15. Oh okay. Yeah, it's a lake that this this color I found does really good. I mean, you know, it's a confidence thing most likely, but and then just I love this cactus. I'm not even. I think it's cactus Chanel. I'm not real sure, but it's like, or it's ice. I think ice ice or icicle, something like that. But I love this, and this kind of Chanel it helps the jig fall slower too. So you just thread that on there. And by the way, y'all, if um, I'm gonna do some shout outs and some channels today, Fishing with Fredo is one of them. If y'all want, you know, good, I know he, uh, Fredo is local as well. If y'all want some good local uh, crappie videos, catfish videos, um, he's he's the place to go to too. He he puts out some great stuff, and I definitely recommend his channel. Um, I want to say um, 903 fishing as well. Uh, Caleb, he uh, he's down East Texas, I believe. I'm trying to make these these jigs a little shorter profile, um, a little smaller profile, I should say. So <clears throat> if. Uh, he, uh, Caleb903 Fishing puts some good stuff out too. Y'all go check him out. 
so yeah this and then i just kind of roll it over like this i don't use a whip finisher which i, I don't know if i should i don't even use super glue this is just how i've always kind of done it and i don't ever have them fall apart on me so and if i did i can always tie some more so just do it like this this thread's kind of weird sometimes it wants to snap on me then i just do this loop it around my finger twice thread it through the the jig head do that a couple times it three times and you just tack, uh, cut that off and it won't come unraveled on you but yeah that's that's the uh, Joe pool killer right there I don't know what it is about that but like I said I think to this day the biggest crappie I've caught uh, on Joe pool is on this color it's a 16 ounce head by the way I think all the ones I'm going to tie today are 16 down, so. And I'm going to go uh, old school. This is uh, my buddy Terrence, T-Dub. This is one of his favorite um, colors right here. Um, I think it's a Swamp Knocker. It's um, a Slab Daddy, Mr. Crabby brand, I think makes some of these. And he loves them. He always catches fish on them. And I've caught good fish on them too. So I'm going to kind of get caught up on the questions here. Slap Buster. I ain't been doing too good. Went Saturday night. Used jigs. Dropped the light. Caught three hours. I caught zero. Man. <clears throat> that's bad. That's how, I mean, that's how it's been here a lot too. It's been, it's been tough. Hit or miss. Like I'm saying, I'm hoping I get to go tomorrow, but I really don't know. We'll have to just kind of see. Uh, sorry, I'm blocking the camera. I didn't even realize it. Um, next level. <clears throat> That's the Chanel I got for the gold. I like two of the cactus. Yeah, I love that. It makes it fall slower and everything. Fredo, I've been putting a ton of flash on mine. I think I'm addicted to tying on the flash more than anything. The flash looks good. It definitely looks good, especially in the water. <clears throat> it puts off, you know, a little flash. It. I don't have that much of it, and the ones I do have, the stuff I do flash, I do have is all tangled up. So that's why I don't really. Sometimes I'll put it on there. Sometimes I won't. Like I just so happen to have a thread right here of it, so I'll probably put some on. This next one too. Uh. Next level, those sickle hooks. Yeah, these are sickle hooks. I use nothing but sickle hooks. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how to get this camera to focus on this better, but we'll do like that. Yeah, see, that's sickle hook. Every jig I have is a sickle hook. I know there's some there's some out there that say they don't like them. They don't hook up fish that good, but I've never had any problems with them. Um, that one video that I that I caught the fish on the telephone poles and the fish were coming off I just think the fish just weren't getting it that good um, I don't think it had anything to do with the hook next level fishing those sickle hooks keep them pinned yeah they do keep them pinned that's I mean I've I feel like they stick fish a lot better than any other um, hook Slab Buster, and in an area I've caught tons of crappie before. I had all the bait around. You would think catfish. Uh, that I, not that I wanted one, but it was awful. You just, you was upset too, man. Yeah, that's weird. All the bait was there, and they didn't come in. That's weird. I feel like I had a mosquito bite me already, but I don't know. See, so I'm gonna get back to this one real quick. I'm trying to remember what the color was. Okay, it's blue tail as well too. I don't have a lot of. I need to get some more blue. I love blue tail. I love this kind of blue. It's, it's like sky blue. Let's see. And I typically put two feathers for each tail. Just, you know, typically two feathers for each tail. <sighs> yeah, 
I knew it was going to do it. For whatever reason, this thread is really brittle. And I don't know why. I, mean, I don't know if the bobbin maybe is messed up or something. I don't know. Maybe the bobbin's got something in there that's doing it. But it always wants to do that on me. See, hold on. There we go. Got it threaded. Put it back on. All right. And it did it again. Mosquito check. None. I don't see any. So I'm just going to kind of read thread over that to save it. Just like that. There we go. I just cut this tag off, tag end off and save it. Let's see. There we go. Uh, yeah, I kept thinking I was gonna it was gonna happen, but no, it didn't. I don't know what's up. I'm hearing from a lot of people that fish are really weird this year. I I kind of feel like it's because it hasn't gotten really hot and stayed hot. Like I saw, we got a cold front coming in like later this week, a week one. It's supposed to be 80 something tomorrow. If you can show how to tie that end knot without the special tool again. Okay, I'll do that here once I once at the end of this one I'll show you. Wow, see I didn't know, even know anything about this info you're throwing out, especially with the Chanel. This definitely some good stuff to know. Awesome. Glad it's helping out, Freda. I use sewing thread on mine. All the jig thread I bought just breaks. Yeah, I don't know. Um, next level, this one, I never used to have, I'm getting this stuff all over me. I used to never have problems, but it's just this batch. I think I got a bad batch or something because it's just this. The other ones I've had, I never had break. Um, so I'm, I'm not sure what, what the deal is. Uh, thank you for the shout out, brother. Really appreciate it. Oh, no problem, man. A great channel. I have no problem. Next level fishing. I'm new to it though. I haven't tied a whole lot. <clears throat> yeah, the like I said this I never had problems with. It's just I think I just got a bad spool. And I have another spool. I should probably switch them out, but I haven't done it yet. <clears throat> I guess it's like everything else in 2020. Yeah, that's true, Slab Buster. It's it's been crazy. <clears throat> Sleep at the reel. What's up? Oh. Uh, Stopping in for a few for my life. Hope all are well. Thanks for joining, Chris. I hope you're doing well as well. We're doing good over here. That's another channel, y'all. Go check out um, Sleep at the Real Outdoors. Another great crappie channel. It's got a lot of live scope videos and stuff like that. <clears throat> another guy <clears throat> who's got a lot of live scope videos. Um, Barfly Fishing Texas, Terry. He's got a lot of good. Uh, he's got a lot of good live scope videos too. I, I wish I had it. So next level. So is that a tying thread? Yeah, it's a tying thread. Um, I got it off of uh, what's it called? Uh, what's the name of it? I can't remember, remember the name. Crazy Angler. Crazy Angler has it on there in a bunch of different colors. I just got some gray. Start seeing a little bit. Slab Buster, I know that's right. Hook City, T yeah, Hook City TV. Ken, I know Ken just. Uh, I saw uh, last night. Ken just got to 50,000 subscribers, so that's awesome. I'm so happy for him. I know he's put a lot of hard work in, and it's paying off. So I couldn't be happier for him. Y'all go check his channel out as well. Hook City TV. Uh. Slap Buster, yeah, I need help, man. I'd like to hire a guy and say, put me on the fish, see what he could do. Yeah, that's sometimes, that's what you got to do. Um, 
maybe he knows uh, what's going on, you know, a little better because he's out there every day. I'm not sure how often you fish, but, you know, the more you're out there, the more you're going to be able to, you know, kind of pinpoint them, narrow them down a little bit. So I've been doing a lot of talking. I hadn't even really tied this one. Got you back asleep at the reel. I'll check your stuff out when I get time. Yeah, it's a great channel. I started using regular thread on mine. By the time the thread wears out, I have lost a jig or straightened out one too many times. Yeah. I bet re regular thread would work good, too. Thanks for the tip, Chris. Uh... Fishing with Fredo, my buddy Jesse from Crappie Crazy, and Care Package, a bunch of different time materials from Crazy England, Grandpa Bob. Yeah, Grandpa Bob is another place I haven't looked at. I need to, I need to look there and see what all they got on there. I'm sure I'd learn a ton from him. I fish every weekend and sometimes during the week if I get a day off. There you go. Yeah, the, the guys, you know, I mean, and then too, sometimes they've, you know, fished the lake for, you know, so many years and they kind of see, you know, patterns if something's weird <clears throat> I tell you what I remember speaking of weird that's kind of off topic but it just came to me um, speaking of weird I remember one year around my birthday end of July um, Ernest this, this is for you Fredo too Fredo will probably know what I'm talking about um, who I'm talking about uh, Ernest Patty took me out I believe uh Brian Spagnola, I think, also he also took out. I think it was me, Brian, and Ernest. Um, and we went out on Louisville, Fredo. It was around this time. I think the lake was... The lake was probably about like what it is now. Probably like... I'm not even sure what it is. Like a foot? Maybe half a foot low? Um, and then... Hold on, let me finish this one up show next level real quick how to tie this without the whip finisher Let's see cut this end off so i just wrap it around like this I'm trying to break this thread even again so just like that and then uh i just get I'm trying to see if you can see i don't really have anything to go against but you just get the line like this make a loop and then make another loop and then you're gonna take this this hole right here at the bottom, thread it through the eye, the jig head, and then just cinch it down. And I do that a couple times. Two loops around the jig head, cinch it down. Two loops around the jig head, cinch it down. And that never comes out. No glue or anything's needed. Just don't cut it too close to the to the jig head. Leave a little a little tag and out like that and you'll you'll have no problem this is the other this is the my buddy's um terrence's favorite jig color right here and one of his favorite swamp knocker chartreuse brown and blue Let's see i missed some stuff let me go back mark williams what's up late but here hey mark glad to hear everything went good and still thinking about you mark hope you're doing well Next level, I've been learning a lot from fishing the same small lake all the time. Found a lot of patterns, and I can catch fish pretty consistently out there now. Yeah, time on the water consistently in places, it's really important, and it can really help you narrow down, um, narrow down, you know, your, your searches and know where the fish are going to be at given the time of year. Yeah, if I like... I just like to see what one could do. Been fishing the lake since I could walk and I'm 46. Yeah. And you got probably more experience on there than any of the guides do probably. But yeah, I'd be interested too to see what, what they come up with. Oh wow, I remember that knot, thanks. Oh, no problem, I hope it helped. I'm gonna quit the glue. Yeah, the glue, I mean I, I've uh, I've glued some and it helps, but I mean, it's not needed. Most of the time you're gonna break the jig off and something before that jig comes apart anyway and get the powder dip. Yeah, the powder dip's where it's at too. 
Oh. Uh, Mark Williams. Good here, just healing. Oh well, and sore. Yeah, I bet. It'll it'll all be worth it in the long run, Mark. I'm sure you know that too. It'll it'll be all all good and be back to normal, even better probably. So just keep keep me updated if you can. I definitely would like to know that things are still going good. Slap Buster, man. I feel stupid. I know this leg and I can't find him. Man, I the thing is, I, I know how that is on Slab Buster on my leg. Sometimes when fish are there, I just can't get them to bite. And I know they're there, and I see them, but it just won't bite. Next level, I'm going to stop using glue, too. That's just amazing, and no whip finisher. Yep. I mean, I've did that for the, ever since I've taught. I've never had a whip finisher, and it seems to work. I don't never have any problems with it coming undone or anything. All right, so Fredo, back to the to the Louisville. I'm trying to think of what color I'm going to tie up now. Let me see. What color should I tie up? Oh, I got it. I'm going to go to Grapevine Lake. This is, a, oh, this is not the right color anyway. Grapevine Lake, this is a good color. Just chartreuse jig head. I'm going to do this real quick, too. back behind me in the park. There's a park that's behind me. You probably think I'm weird. Over here talking to myself. Uh, better every day. Awesome. I'm glad to hear it, Mark. Yeah, that's going to happen too. I know they get there. They get locked jaw. Man, that, that means you are a lucky dog. Mr. Patty is our local crappie guru. Yeah, he... He's taken me out a couple times. I think I remember too when I first. I think it was the first weekend that I actually got to fish off a boat. Um, him and Guy Skinner took me down to Cedar Creek and we shot some docks and fishing brush and chased sandies. And then I remember that night we went and caught hybrids and sand bass on the docks at night that were lit up. Man, that was so much fun. Um, but yeah, so back to that story. I'm trying to get that story out before I keep drifting off, but. Yeah, Ernest took me and Brian out uh, for my birthday, uh, and let's see. and he, uh, I still remember, it was the craziest thing. So there's a cove, there's a cove north of the toll bridge that we went into, it was this time of year, it was hot, hot as all get out, end of July. And we went and pitched stumps in, I'm not kidding, one to two foot of water in that cove. The, it was the weirdest thing I've ever, ever experienced. Like, them fish were like, it was like they were spawning. So I'm just getting some chartreuse tail and put it on here for the grapevine color. Um, so yeah. But we, we pitched stumps in that cove. And caught, caught nice fish, big old white crappie. And the water wasn't wasn't too muddy. It wasn't anything crazy, but they were just, just like spawn fishing. It was just amazing. See, so yeah, I got that chartreuse tail. I'm gonna put. There we go. So I'm gonna get some uh, some purple, some purple going on. Have you ever experienced anything like that, Fredo? And fish being super shallow this time of year? And I remember he was saying about, you know, he thinks it has something to do with the oxygen, you know, the thermocline being set in, so, like, really shallow for some reason, and uh, then fish don't have a choice but to, to go up shallow. And it definitely seemed like that was the case because they were super shallow. a little not as symmetrical as some of the other ones but oh well 
So then just, you know, cinch it down, tie it, wrap it, and then just two loops, run it to the jig head, two loops, run it to the jig head, two loops, run it to the jig head. I'm gonna do one more just for extra good measure. And that's the grapevine killer right there. Purple chartreuse. Kind of makes sense. Purple and grapevine. Do you sell any jigs? I'd love to buy some. I don't sell any, but um, if you want, I can send you some. I can try to send you some if you if you want, Slapbuster. Um, just uh, send me a message. I'm not even sure how... I'm not even sure if you can... Can you send messages on uh, YouTube? I'm not even sure. Like a private message? If you can, just shoot me your, your address and I'll... And some, and some colors you want. Or I mean, I don't have a lot of colors, but I have some and I can send you some. Chris, they're up shallow because of thermocline. The thermocline here is around 20 foot, so everything above that to get oxygen. Yeah, I've seen that before, Chris. But man, I've never seen them like literally. I mean, the water and the water was. I mean, I'm. I don't know. The water was only like one or two foot deep. It wasn't like they were suspended over over deep water. They were just shallow, just up on the bank. And I think because they just the lack of oxygen, they just were up there shallow. Um, that's, that's what I'm guessing. Man, I'm liking that purple chartreuse. Thanks, man. That, that color is, it's good color all the way around. Um, here, let me see. And then I would put on here, man, I would, Slab Buster, I'm trying to get, I would put on here the, you know, my email address to email me, but I don't even know how to put that on here. That's pretty bad. I have no idea how to put that on there, man. I'm sorry. I wish I knew how. I. Uh, Fredo, I was talking to you as you were asking me that. So, oh man, no, no worries. Um, have you ever had that where they're seen that where them fish are super, super shallow on uh, Louisville, like spawning shallow, like a foot or two of water in the back of coves this time of year? Last month, three foot of water in the creeks. Yep. I've just, I've just never seen it. Just like seen them on the stumps, like in spawning. They were in spawning, uh, spawning area, spawning coves. That's what they were at. I've just never seen them that shallow on the main lake in a cove like that before. Catching them at five foot of water, yeah. Man, I wanna go out there and shoot some docks, man. Chris, I... Mark Williams, three foot in the creek, yeah. Like I said, I've seen them in different places, you know, but never on main lake, you know, spawning area, spawning coves. That to me is just, just crazy. Uh, yeah, I caught them in two foot of water like they were spawning too. Okay. Man, I thought, uh, I, I was wondering if maybe that was just a one-time deal or what. I haven't tried it since, but I definitely need to try it. And you didn't catch any dinks either. The ones you'd catch were good, solid fish. Which I thought was interesting. I mean, they were solid fish. Let's have another good, uh, just another good color here. I'm gonna have to get off here in probably 15 minutes or so. I gotta, I gotta help the wife out here around around eight o'clock. So, and uh, Mark was saying. Mosquito check, mosquito check. Mark was saying, uh, 
Shad spawn, Shad spawn more more than once. Yeah, Mark, do you know if they spawn? Have you seen them spawn as late as you know late July? I've seen them spawn, you know, almost into June sometimes, but I've never seen them spawn past that. Maybe you maybe you've seen that. Can shed some light for me. I'm fixing to try that here and look in the shallow water because they ain't where they're supposed to be. Yeah, you might if you're if you're fishing deep, go go run up run up shallow, super shallow. It's funny how that is, you know. They're sometimes they're the opposite of where you think they're gonna be. And you go out deep looking for them, and then they're some for some reason they're up on the bank. Let's see, a perfect year they can spawn up to five times a, during the year. Okay. I didn't know that. That would make sense. They're probably that's probably what was going on too. Cause I'm telling them fish were shallow. Fourteen to twenty-five foot had no luck. Slab buster. Yeah, I'd go try. Especially if you can find some murkier water, go try up ten, five, ten foot. Especially if there's some timber up in some some murkier water. I think that'd be a good idea to go go see. Normal three, but perfect weather five. Okay. Yeah, man, and Shad's been having some some good spawns around here lately. I mean, there's so much bait in all the lakes that I'm fishing, especially um, you know the lakes around the immediate DFW, man. They're the ones that were flooded during the spring. Man, there is so many shad. This shad had so many places to hide. And I'm going back to another bright color. This is just a good, I've always had good luck on this color. Just like a fire tiger. I think it's called fire tiger. Yeah, fire tiger. Crazy angler. cinch down that end, wrap it around as tight as you can get it without breaking the, the thread. <laughs> yeah, twice, around the jig head. Let's see, that one got caught around the jig head, so we'll do that one again. Twice, around the jig head, twice, around the jig head, cinch down. Twice, around the jig head, cinch down. That's it. Let's see. And that chartreuse green is really nice color. Uh, yeah, man. I like I said, I like the bright. I usually I try to find the brightest uh, colors of that color that I want. So that's that's another good color. Just chartreuse head, fire tiger Chanel, and uh, just a chartreuse chartreuse tail. Uh, I think it's crazy. This. It's this crazy 2020. It could be. Them fish might know it's 2022, and they they don't want nothing to do. They don't want to. They don't want to catch the. They don't want to catch the virus either. They're like, I ain't getting around nowhere that I can get caught. They're taking off. I'm gonna tie another. I'm gonna tie another with the same Joe Pool color again. I'm gonna probably use these tomorrow if I go. If I get to go. Flat buster, man, you make that look easy. Man, thank you. Been doing it for a long time. It's really not too hard to do though. I mean it's it's not not too hard at all. It just takes, you know, a little little time and I uh I know some great great uh jig tire that tied hand that tie hand ties um and sell them you know but um it's just and there's nothing against them but they have you know they have to cover their costs too so they're they're a little you know they're a little on the expensive side but they do last longer um so i've gotten to where i was like you know what i'm just gonna tie my own 
I can, I'm going to put another feather on here because this one's not as thick as the other ones. So I was, you know, thinking I was just going to tie my own to be cheaper and save a little money. Got to get going, take care. All right, Mark, thanks for tuning in. Uh, take it easy and we'll see you on the next one. Paul Carr, good evening, sir, from Lake Sam Rayburn. Good evening, how are you, Paul? Hope you're doing good. We're just tying some jigs on here and talking some crappie. I'm about to have to get off of here, though, unfortunately. It would take me 30 minutes to make one. <laughs> nah, it won't take you that long. It won't take you too long. <clears throat> Hard on yourself. Fredo, wow, that one looks really nice. Thanks, Fredo. See, I'm just going to tie this one real quick. Just so I have one more to use tomorrow if I get to go. Keyword, if I get to go. There we go. Joe Pool special color. Let's see what all I missed on here. Fishing with Camel Joe. What's up, bro? What's up, man? Glad you you tuned in. Almost didn't make it. Crappie Express. Hey, Fredo. Hey, Crappie Express. Glad you made it. I'm about to have to get off of here, unfortunately, though. But hope you get to go back through and, and listen to it all whenever it's done. Uh, processing Paul Carr used to know a girl that had some blue feathers like them she was a dancing girl <laughs> that's pretty funny Paul uh, fish with Fredo what's up CX I will awesome crappie express awesome thank you thank you You're sick with the finger whip, lol. <laughs> Thanks, Camo Joe. That's that's just what I've always kind of done. Um, and it seems to work. So, I mean, I figure, you know, if it's not broke, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know. And that's all I'm going to tie up. I just wanted to tie up a few for y'all and then have some for tomorrow. If I get to go, kind of put all this stuff up real quick. I have a little uh, like divider thing over here where I keep all my I keep all the uh, Chanel's in one drawer, all the feathers in one drawer, and then just miscellaneous stuff in one drawer. But let's see, Camo Joe, Sharon L. Hey Sharon, thanks for tuning in. Nice. I don't have whip finisher, so I tie mine at the end like you do with the finger. Yeah, it. If you don't have a whip finisher, it's it's perfect. It's. I don't think it's any any different than that, to be honest. Glad you're able to tune in, Sharon. Let's, see if it's, uh, I'm gonna start doing it like that. Yeah, try it, Fredo. Let me know what you think. It's not bad at all. So I'm gonna be on here another five minutes or so, y'all, and I'm gonna have to cut it cut it off at that point I gotta help the wife with something at eight so I don't wanna I don't wanna get in trouble she is letting me she is letting me go fishing tomorrow so I gotta make sure I you know help her out as much as I can I got a I got some videos coming out I'm trying to mix it up because I feel I feel bad that I have to post bridge videos every single time. Um, that's really the only options I have, unfortunately. I'm gonna go ahead and put this up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I feel bad having to put the uh, um, same bridge videos all the time, so.
I need to start getting into making my own as many as I lose. Yeah, Slap Buster, that's, that's where I was at, you know. Um, if they, as many as I lose to fish and brush, I mean, it just was not beneficial. It was too costly to, to buy them from someone and then to use them that way. This way, I mean, if you break off some, if you have a good color, you, you know, catching a lot of fish on, you can tie them, go home and tie them as many as you need, different sizes and weights and things like that. It's a lot, <clears throat> it's a lot better in my opinion. Not knocking any of the, the tires, um, jig tires. I know they have, they have their cost they have to cover. It's no, no shame on them, you know. I mean, I know, I know how it is. They got to cover their cost. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave this up, but got to go chase the grandson around. Y'all all have a great one, guys. It was great being on here. All right, Fredo, thanks for tuning in, and thanks for the super chat. As always, man, I appreciate it. Appreciate the support. And uh, we'll look forward to hearing from you soon. Hey, yeah, look into that. It gets addictive. It does. It's, I mean, I, I was real bad in the beginning. I would tie up, like, 50 at a time when I first started, and then, you know, I realized I didn't need that many, so I only tie up. I tie them up as I need them. Like these right here will last me for a while. So, uh oh, I dropped one. Hold on, y'all. Alright. So these are what I this is what I tied up. I'll show y'all. Just real quick little. I'm trying to get used to this camera angle. So that's what we tied up. Some chartreuse, a lot of bright colors. Uh, let's see, that's better to see. Him. So, you know, nothing nothing too crazy. Slap Buster. All right, man, we'll see you next time. Thanks, have a good one. Thanks, Slap Buster, as always, for tuning in and support. Yeah, I'm about to have to close it out here in a minute or two. Something to do, I guess. Exactly, uh, Crappie Express. That's another reason I started doing it, too. It's cheaper, it gives you something to do. Um, during the week, you know, after work, or if it's if it's rainy or cold, or you know, you just need something to do on the inside, man, it's it's great. Pass some time, and you have some custom jigs, you know, when you get to the lake, when you do get to go. So and that's part of why I top, I paint my own jig heads too. It just gives me something to do. I'm not, you know, able to fish every day like I like I want to, so I have to, you know, little things like this help, you know help get get through things quicker get through the week quicker but yeah all right y'all so i think i'm gonna start uh closing it down so i just want to say you know again thanks for the support everyone thanks for the the super chat again fredo i appreciate it thanks for the the thumbs up you know if you enjoyed this go go leave it a thumbs up let me know um, and, uh, uh, oh, that reminds me, um, Chris, Asleep at the Real Outdoors is going to have a live after mine. And go over to his channel and check it out if you haven't, haven't already. Um, go check out Fishing with Fredo, um, Barfly Fishing Texas, if you love live scope stuff. Uh, Hook City, I'm sure most know Hook City and watch his videos and, and, you know, go go over to his channel. Congratulate him on 50,000 subscribers. That's pretty. It's pretty incredible. I'm really happy for him and his family. Uh, and you know, as always, you know, thanks for the support. Hopefully, one day. Um, what was I gonna say? My mind just went blank. I don't know what I was gonna say. I don't know. How do you clean camel gel? How do you clean the paint out? I actually just get another another jig head. Let me see. Let me try and set this back up. Hold on one second. So I just get another another hook and just poke them out like that, just like that. That's basically what, that's what I do. Seems seems to work pretty good. Usually, like on a jig head that like, or a jig that I don't, don't plan on using, I just have one that I always do that with. 
because it will dull that hook a little bit so I don't do them with all of them but I've got you know a couple that I use that too so me, me too yeah it's I think it's they have the little I think they have a clip I digger outer thing um but I'm not sure I think I've seen one that like digs it out and um like a clamp digs it out at the same time it clamps or something like that but I'd have to uh I'd have to look it up all right y'all so I think that's gonna wrap it up thanks for the support can't find them yeah I haven't seen one in a while Camel Joe I used to see him but I don't remember where I even saw him at All right, y'all, so that's going to wrap it up. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the support. Y'all go over and check out um, Sleep with the Real Chris's live after mine, and y'all stay safe out there. We'll see you on the next one.